wave them high. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and... Hi everyone, welcome to Red Elephant Art Club. I'm glad you're here today. We have a fun project that we're going to do today and I have some visitors, two visitors, my nieces. They want to say hi. Hi. <laughs> it's Jaden and Laylee. They're here to help us today. Okay, well today we're traveling to Egypt. Have some fun. We're gonna do a blue hippo. When I was in Egypt, I picked this up and it's a souvenir and they considered it good luck, okay? So anyway, that's what we're gonna have fun uh, painting a blue hippo today. And we're gonna tell you all the supplies you're gonna need. So I'll be right back and gather up my supplies and I will be back and tell you what you Hi, need. I'm back. Okay, these are the things you're going to need. You're gonna need uh, some blue and green uh, acrylic paint. You're gonna also need some blue watercolors. You're gonna need some uh, oil pastels, some scissors, some paint brushes, and some sponges. And I cut them into triangles and you're gonna to wanna to do that. Uh, you're also going to need uh, a piece of white uh, watercolor paper for each one of the students and a piece of orange construction paper for each of the students. All right, make sure that everyone has their smocks on. Oh, we also need some water. Would you mind picking me, go getting me some water? Uh, there's a, a container right there. You can put some water in for me, right down here. Do you see that little cup down there? Yeah, just anything. No, not there. <laughs> anyway, she'll get us some water. Okay, while, you're, uh, while we're getting some water, I will find, um, you guys can get, start gathering up these supplies. I'll be right back. Okay, let me go over that again really fast, okay? Because I forgot to tell you about the Q-tips. You're gonna need blue and green uh, acrylic paint, blue watercolors, paint brushes. I'd get a container to put the paint in, uh, oil pastels, some sponges, and a Q-tip, right? And some scissors. And then the construction paper, the uh, orange and the watercolor paper for each one. And then make sure everyone has a smock on, okay? All right, so let's see where we're going today. Make sure that you uh, grab the passports and we're traveling to Egypt, all right? And so you can stamp the passport for Egypt and let's find Egypt. Where is Egypt? Do you girls know where Egypt is? Mm -hmm. You wanna find it for me? I'm just gonna turn this around so the girls can see it for a second. Can you find Egypt for me? You think it's in South America? Is Egypt in South America? I don't no, think so. not in South America. Is it in the United States? No. No. How about Russia? Is it up here in Asia? No. no. How about around Africa. Egypt said yes. Africa. Can you find it, Laylee? Can you find Egypt? Yes. Point to me. Show me. Right there. That's right, everyone. It's down here in the purple area, right down here. This is Africa, and Egypt is right there, okay? Really close uh, to Saudi Arabia and Turkey. It's right there, and I got to travel there one time, and I got to see pyramids, and I got to ride on a camel, what? Yes, that's what's in Egypt. It's very cool, you know. All right, so we're going to get started. You guys make sure that you get uh, you show all the kids the globe so they can find Egypt too. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, girls. Okay, the very first thing you're going to do is going to you're going to give them all an orange sheet of construction paper. Okay, and then you're going to have one give them a sponge, and then you're going to just have them dip the sponge and the green paint. Oops. I want to make sure my corners are done like that. Okay. And then you're gonna at the top of their page, you're gonna have them just press down with the pointy side up. These are like plants. So you're gonna go like that. Like that. Okay. Four or five of them, whatever they want to do. I'm gonna put five on mine. Okay, like that. And then you're done with the sponge. All right, then you're gonna get a Q-tip, okay? And let me put a little bit more green paint in here. All right, Laylee, you might need a little bit more paint. Let me give you some more, sweetheart, okay? 
There you go. Okay, whoops. Okay, then you're gonna get the Q-tip and then have them dip the Q-tip in the green paint, the very top, and then you can just make dots going around it, like that. Okay, just like that, all the way around. Okay. okay, like that, okay? Yep. You can dip your, your you might, sometimes you might, might need to dip your Q-tip in a little bit. Make sure you got plenty of paint on it. All right, I am done with that. Then we're gonna get some blue paint. I'm just gonna get me another one because the girls are still using the green. And I'm going to put some blue paint this is kind of purple, but that's okay. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use some blue paint, and we're going to pink. It's like um, like uh, I'm not sure, but it's water on the bottom part of the page. Just make a line like this, maybe. Whoops. Some, and just have them paint this whole bottom part in. It's supposed to be where the hippo is going to be sitting because hippos like water. They spend a lot of time in the water. Africa, what kind of animals, other animals do we see in Africa? Um, giraffes. Yes. Great. What other? What do you think, Laylee? What other animals would we see in Africa? Lions. Hmm? Lions. What'd you say? What kind of animal? Elephants. Elephants, for sure. How about monkeys? Yeah. Yeah, and lions. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, did you guys see Lion King? Yeah. Yeah. So remember all the animals there in Africa? Yeah. Um, the gazelles. Yeah. There you go. Yes. So anyway, this is, they also have hippos. All right. So now after they do this, I want you just to set the wet painted painting aside because now we're going to work on the hippos. So set all the wet paintings aside so they can dry. Yeah, let's see here. How are your girls? You doing okay? Yep. yep. All right. I'm going to turn this off because I think I need to wipe this down so my other paper doesn't get dirty. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, in your packet, you will find um, these two pieces of paper. And this is how, instructions, how to draw a hippo. And so you can pull that out and follow along. I'm going to draw it uh, as well so you can watch this video, but you might want to pull this out so, uh, for a guide. There's also this, and we're going to draw the designs on the hippo. I don't know if you can see this, but see how they have, the lo this is like lotus, drawings of the lotus on the hippo, okay? And so we're going to try to make it, okay, there you go, see that? Isn't that kind of cool? So we're going to try to do the same on our hippo, okay? And you can pull those out to help you. Okay, so we're gonna start, we're gonna use a black oil pastel. Okay, and this is eventually gonna be cut, painted and cut out. So I want you to start right up here on the right-hand side, and you're going to draw, let's see, you're gonna need a room for the nose. And so we're gonna start about right here and make a great big C. Okay, so start here and then draw a C like this. Can you draw like a C like that, Miley? Make a C. You know how to draw a C? Like this, about right here. Uh-huh, about three fingers from the top and then make a big C to about here. There you go, okay. And now we need to make his nose, okay? So we're just gonna come around and go, let's see, just like that. Nothing like that. Can you do like that? There you go. Okay, like that, that's good. That's good, okay. Now let's put some ears on them, all right? So just, you can make some ears like this, and then one inside here, and then you can go like this to make little things like that, it looks like, okay? Here, Laylee, look. So one here. Sure, and then one over there, uh-huh. And then you can just make little things like this for the inside of his ear, okay? 
Let's put a big old smile on them, all right? Can we do, can you make a smile on your hippo? Here you go, sweetie, like that. Okay. Okay, there you go. It's hard to look upside down, isn't it? Okay, now let's make two circles for his eyes. And then make some round circle, round dots. And then I'll leave. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right. So now let's make his back. Now this back looks like you put your crayon, your pastel right here in the middle of his head. You're going to make a big O hump right to here. Okay. So just like, like that. Can you do that? Okay. All right. Just like that. Now we're going to make some feet. So just go straight down and then over. Okay, then you're gonna go up, one line up. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I want you to come over here to the other side and I want you to put your pastel right here in the middle and I want you to go straight down towards the bottom of your page. Okay, and then go make a line over for his foot. Okay, and then up. And then make a little line like that. Perfect. And go straight down again. Okay, and then over. And then straight up. And then let's connect these two, this one and this one together. Okay, now he has a tail, so we gotta put a tail on him. Just like that. Okay, now he also has some toenails, and we're just gonna go like this for his toenails, okay? And on all of his feet there. Like M's. Have you made M's before? Yeah, you did it. Perfect. That's how you do it. Okay. Now we're going to look at these designs and we're going to draw them on his body. Okay. So you can look at that and just draw any designs you want on your hippo. Okay. So you can look at this as well. Let's see. Okay. Here, look at that. You can look at that if you want. Okay, let's see. Okay, and I'm just going to... You, you can have your kids make any designs they want, but I think it's kind of fun to do it more like they did it in Egypt. These hippos, they found um, these like in some of the pyramids a long time ago. These like ancient, ancient pottery. All right. See how you're doing? Oh, good. You girls are doing good. Okay, so just keep working on your designs. Okay, I will be right back and I'll show you when we're done. Okay, we're back. Okay, I finished designing mine. Laylee and Jaden finished theirs too. Now, all they have to do is paint the entire hippo blue. You can leave the toenails white if you want, but you don't have to worry about getting having them get out of lines or anything because we're going to cut this out after it dries. Now, remember with watercolor, you don't need very much. You just kind of barely tap it. You barely tap your brush in the watercolor, I mean in the paint, just a tiny bit, and you kind of add it on here like this, just like that, and then you paint with basically water. See, you just kind of just keep adding, uh, um, yeah, you just kind of get your paintbrush wet and you just kind of bring it down. And if you need more paint, all you really do is kind of come up here where you first started and get some more paint uh, on your brush. Just like that. If it starts to feel really dry, just add more water. You can add a little bit more paint if you want. The dark, the more paint you have on, the darker. Oh, I shouldn't have painted my eyebrows. You might not want to paint your eyebrows, your eyebrows, your inside of your eyes. Might want to leave them white. I think I'm gonna to try to take some of that off. You might want to ask them, tell them not to paint their eyeballs or their toenails blue. Paint it, leave it white. 
Okay. And I got a little bit too much paint. You can see how dark it is now. So I am going to try to spread this out and add more water. actually give them a bigger brush the little brush was taking a little bit too long you give them a big brush since so you don't have to worry about uh, going out of lines it will go a lot faster probably for you okay, and then because we have to let this dry before we cut it out okay how are you guys coming good okay yeah. come on okay I'm about done whoa here, Laylee, use this bigger brush. I think it'll go faster for you, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside so it can dry, and then I'm gonna cut it out as soon as it's dry. All right. Okay, then, when you get this, our painting here, you can use a blow dryer to blow this dry so it goes a little faster, okay? And I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll get a blow dryer, dry my painting here so we can finish this painting up. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So we took a blow dryer and um, dried our paintings because uh, we wanted to finish this project today. So all you do is now you get them a green pastel and you just take it and these are gonna be the stems and just have them make stems going down actually into the water. Just like that. Okay. And that's all you do there. And then you hit a white pastel. This is actually a white crayon. I have a white pastel in here though, I, I bet. Here's one. White crayon, if you can't find a, a white crayon will probably work too. But anyway, you just kind of like this and you can make like waves. Not sure how well that would work. See, the pastel works so much better. Like this, little waves into your water down here. So here's this. This works better than crayon for sure. Okay. All right. Okay. Then you're going to take this one's mine, I think. Your hippo and have them cut it out. Okay, so I'm going to stop the uh, put the video on pause while I cut this out and I'll be right back. Hi. Okay, so I'm back. All right, so I've got my hippo all cut out and then one thing I did forget is glue. A glue stick will work great. So just have them glue their hippo anywhere on this paper. And you've got your blue hippo painting. The girls are almost done, and when they're done, I will show you their painting too. Okay, I will be right back. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did doing this project. The girls are wanting to show you their painting as well. Hey, there they are. Okay, cute. You guys did such a good job. There's your blue hippo. I know that the inside the school, somewhere in the library there, there is a whole book about the blue hippo in Egypt. That would be fun for you to read to the kids. Okay, bye-bye.